Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, GDA's Fun Stuff. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a super fluffy dinner roll bread pillow. We this are satisfying yes. bread to make a dinner roll and a loaf and a loaf bread. It is so easy to make and some nice seem to achieve perfect break the whole time. If you guys are ready, let's get started. By the way, this bread is called white bread because it is white as milk. If you're new to my channel, Helder, make sure to subscribe, press notification bell, and you're welcome. So, into my lukewarm water, I'm going to add in my two sachets of yeast, five tablespoons of sugar granulated white sugar so depending on your sweet tooth over here so i've just added five sugar it's really great and balanced this dinner roll so and i'll give it a quick mix and let it proof it's really important to let your ease proof now just add it directly into the the flour mixture so over here you can see my yeast is proof that's how you know when you eat this proof you will have this foamy top and i'll pour it directly into my bowl so you could use a stand mixer for this if you don't let it work so i'll be using just my hands so and i'll be adding two uh about three tablespoons of vegetable oil corn oil any flavorless oil maybe olive oil is is also a great oil for this dinner rolls give it a quick mix so guys i forgot to add salt so but i forgot it but it still turned out great you add half teaspoon of salt or a teaspoon so now i'll be adding the flour gradually adding a cup at a time so in total like i i i added I made eight cups. I put it into this batter about eight cups of flour because the water was actually a lot, so it's a lot of bread because I'm making a dozen, a dozen dinner roll and a little loaf. So you could actually maybe do the half of the recipe if you prefer a little quantity of bread so i'll continue adding the flour gradually until our half perform a dough maybe uh, so i'll continue it by work surface so guys about the flour the flour is bread flour you don't want to use cake flour of course you give you cakey bread and I know no one wants that of course we need some bread okay maybe strong flour or just bread flour all-purpose flour anything works are great as long as not cake flour so I'll cut you do you need in this very well with my hand this short talks takes a lot of time but if you have a stand mixer it is it is way easier so I'll continue, continue uh, kneading the dough with some flour. Guys, I'll say in total to knead this dough is about 10 or 12 minutes to knead it. Yeah, because this is really is a big dough and it's a bread dough, so we need it to be at least really really stretchy
the important step I want to tell you guys about this bread is that like we're drawing and dragging the bread over. Like like drawing and dragging the bread over. Like you see in the video, that's how bread goes. If it's still sticky, don't be afraid to add a few, few sprinkles of flour. So it's really important to need to do like the way I'm showing in the video. That's what makes it really elastic -y and really soft. So as you can see the dough is so soft. It's so soft and elastic. -y. So I'm going to transfer it into my bowl which I greased with some oil. And we're going to cover this to rise for over an hour and 30 minutes or 2 hours, 3 hours, depending on how much time you've got in hand. So after the rise, you can see the air. We're going to punch it through it. So the dough have risen. Have won triple in size. Not only double, but triple in size. It is so risen up. So here I've got my molds greased They're actually greased with oil and flour so i'll be using a, a rectangle mold and a, a loaf pan so i cut my dough into half to make me to let it help me work with it so easier and i'll cut it into little balls So got it into 12 little balls. So now I'll shape them and circle them into little into little baseballs. <laughs> yeah, balls like that shaped. This is how I make dinner rolls and place them directly into our mold. So I can chill like that until I make so my dinner rolls aren't that big, they're just in a medium size and don't forget to sprinkle your hands with some flour because the dough might be a little bit sticky. Guys, if you follow my recipe, follow my measurement, of course you get the same recipe, you get a dozen of dinner rolls and a little bread loaf. So I made my dinner rolls are ready. So I'm gonna cover them and let them poof. And we rise again another second time. Moving into our leftover flour, leftover dough. So I'm gonna roll it with a rolling pin to have a neat and clean loaf. Now I'm just gonna roll like the way we roll cinnamon rolls. Yeah like that so it's clean like i said you have a clean surface of bread i placed it into my my mold just press it a little bit to like straighten up and get it to the mold and cover it up let it rise so after rising make sure you preheat your oven so preheat your oven to a 300 degree Silicious, which is over 400 Fahrenheit. So we're just going to bake this for about an hour and a half. Until they're really brown and golden. So my <laughs> radies are baked. See how they're risen? It's so beautiful. So while they're still warm, you can see them like that. I'm just going to rub it with some oil. Either, either use oil or butter. It sure do work perfectly. And it's almost the same thing. I'm just going to rub into my breads. Like that gives it a nice shine color.
And tip number three, I think, right? I'm going to tell you I gave you add to. Okay, this is tip number three. To make your bread so soft, you can see their shells are really strong. They look like rocks. So I'm going to cover that with plastic wrap. This is a tip, the most important tip about bread. To have a soft surface, this is the tip. Cover with plastic wrap and with a kitchen towel. And let it sit for about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, you see your bread. It is so, 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 so soft. So you can see it is so soft. OMG, they're so pillowy. Okay. I really love this bread because, wow, they're cloudy. Like it releases stress and pain relief. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna get it off from the pan so that when heat up, like it will really soak and heat up. So now into the soft and pillowy movement. I just love that pull apart experience. It makes me feel so nice. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy, don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye. And I hope you guys try this white bread loaf. It's a must try bread. So as usual, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the notification bell to get every video single video I post in this channel. And make sure you try this bread. It's a must try bread. And uh, thanks for watching. See you guys in my next video. Bye.